Hey, you got some meat for some tater tots? How fresh out of the oven? Still steaming. Who's Mr. Potato Head? Uh, some internet podcast guy. Uh, it's good to see. Man, I can't give you more than 200 for this tater 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 I know I could get at least 5,000 down the street. Yeah. Looks soggy to me. 300. Stop. Come on, I need at least 400 for an iPhone. Well, well, we can give you an iPhone we got in today. We, we, we could do that. Dumbass doesn't even realize he can't use it here. AT&T isn't here. Retard. Hi, I'm Pox. And I'm Raggable. And this is a Two Smart Guys production. Bringing you a special episode on... Unlocking the iPhone is today's episode. Oh. <laughs> we are in Wyoming, United States of America, where there is no AT&T service. Only two providers. And one of them is uh, another GSM company, Union. Mm -hmm. And we are currently using an iPhone just fine, got on the internet and everything. And we're going to show you how to do it. You're going to need to download some files. All the links are in our show notes at twosmartguys.com. Alright, you will need to make sure that your iPhone has the 1.02 firmware on it. And you will also need to download these applications. iBricker, iUnlock, NOR, ICE 03.14.08 underscore G.FLS, Minicom, mini rc.dfl bb updater win scp putty the iphone restore file for 1.02 itunes 7.3 but if you have 7.4 or higher you just need to make sure and have the file mobile device.dll in the same directory as ibrickers extracted to first step to unlocking your iphone is by passing activation the iphone needs to be jailbroken before you can upload any software to it and do any kind of hacking or unlocking or emulators, any of the fun stuff. Make sure that you have the iPhone restore file on your PC. It should be located in your Windows profile under uh, app data slash roaming slash Apple computer slash iTunes slash iPhone software updates. And it should be in there. Uh, if you've been using your iPhone with iTunes, it'll automatically be downloaded and put in there but otherwise you need to download it from our show notes and place it in that file. Now you need to make a directory called phone DMG and extract all the other downloaded files into there. Um, then you're ready to run iBricker. iBricker is the program that will jailbreak your iPhone from the tyranny of Apple's contract with uh, AT&T. So run iBricker, make sure your iPhone's plugged in uh, to the USB and it'll ask you to restart your iPhone into restore mode. Uh, so fully shut down your iPhone, you know, hold the power button down and slide the little red slider when it pops up. When you press it to turn it back on, hold down the power button and the home button at the same time until a yellow triangle appears. So once you're in restore mode on the PC side of things, go ahead and click continue and then click install PXL. It'll ask you to restart your iPhone. Go ahead and you know hold down the power button, do the slider thing, let it restart. And then when it gets done and restarts, it'll ask you to do it again. <laughs> so go ahead and restart your iPhone again. Ta-da, now your phone has been jailbroken. Yay! <laughs> so now that you've got your phone jailbroken, it's time to actually bypass the activation. So inside of iBricker, Click on Files, and then on the little iPhone screen, on the right-hand side, navigate to User LibExec. Click on Upload File, and then select the file named Lockdown D, which you downloaded earlier. Then restart your iPhone, and you'll see it goes right to the home screen. It won't be asking you for activation anymore. On your iPhone, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and your network. When it's connected, then tap the blue arrow and make note of the IP address. We're going to be using that later. Also. Go to Settings, General, Auto Lock. Set it to Never. You don't want your iPhone dropping its Wi-Fi connection when you're flashing it. That would be bad. All right, on iBricker, go ahead and go back and install the installer application. So just go ahead and click on Applications, browse the applications, 
and you'll find installer in the list. Go ahead and double click on it, it'll install it on your iPhone. Then on your iPhone, on the home screen, go ahead and double, you know, tap on installer and, and then you need to install the following programs in this order. The community sources, BSD subsystem, and this one takes a little while so you gotta wait for it, and OpenSSH. All right, now on your PC, install WinSCP, go ahead and run it, make a new session, enter the IP of your iPhone that we got earlier in the host name, uh, and under user, type in root, and under password, type in Dottie. Set the protocol to SCP, save it, and then go ahead and log in to your iPhone. Go ahead and navigate to user slash bin directory, and you're going to upload from the PC side these files. I unlock ice03.4.08 underscore g dot fls nor minicom bb updater. On the iPhone side, navigate back to the user directory and click on create folder. Name it local, then, then go inside, you know, make sure inside of that, create a new folder, name it etc. Now you should be inside user slash local slash etc. And this is where you're going to upload mini rc dot dfl. In the middle of editing this production, a new GUI called AnySim has come out for the rest of this unlocking process. So you can cop out and do the GUI, which is still in beta and not reported to fully work for everybody. Or you can be a man and do the rest of this process manually, like a man. All right. Now you're ready to actually do the unlocking. This is the fun part. Um, you're going to need to log into Putty. Pox, you're logging into the iPhone using Putty. And you're going to want to look at our show notes because these have to be done exactly as they're shown on the screen. Type in your IP address and the username of root and the password of Dottie. Once you're logged into your iPhone, go ahead and run the following commands. Uh, CD space slash USR slash BIN slash enter chmod space plus x space i capital u unlock enter launch ctl space unload space dash w space forward slash systems forward slash library slash launch daemon slash com dot apple comcenter.p list. Holy cow. Enter it as it is on the screen with capitals where they need to be placed. And enter I unlock space ice 03.14.08 underscore g dot f l s space n o r. Press enter. Now this part's going to take about 20 minutes. So, you know, go make some cookies or something like that. Then, when it's finally done, you can run BB updater space dash V. Okay, you should be seeing uh, plus X gen data than a bunch more stuff. That's good. Um, now you're going to run minicom. This is really cool. This is like the old modem terminals. Um, so type mincom, enter inside a putty, and it'll pop up this little terminal thing. Type AT, should respond with OK. If it does, then you're good to go. Here, here we go. This is the real unlocking part. Uh, type in AT plus CLCK equals quote PN quote comma zero comma quote eight zeros comma enter. Type AT plus CLCK equals quote PN quote comma two enter. If it responds with zero, your iPhone's unlocked. You can go ahead and, well, well, wait, don't get too excited, I'm sorry. You need to exit out of the MinCom, so do Control A followed by Q. That'll exit out of the MinCom. You'll still be in putty, and you're gonna need to type in launch CTL space load dash W uh, space forward system slash library slash launch demons slash com.apple.comcenter.plist. There, now your phone is totally unlocked and you're good to go. So go ahead and pop out the old AT&T SIM card, stash it away for a rainy day, 
and go ahead and put in your T-Mobile card, your Union Wireless card if you live in Wyoming, and you can use your iPhone. Uh, yes. Um. All right, so those of you who don't live in an AT&T service area, AKA the rest of the world, you can now use an iPhone in your GSM service area. Uh, warning, don't, don't update iTunes or the firmware on your iPhone ever unless you check the different wikis and forums that are out there like ours at twosmartguys.com. <laughs> Probably yeah. other places first though. And the other thing, warning, you know, big, fat. Yay! <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Anyways, you are supposed to sign up for AT&T service. What happened when so, you went to buy yours? When I bought my iPhone, I was like, hey, I want an iPhone. They're like, Was okay. this in an Apple store? Yeah, this is an Apple store in Denver. They're like, okay, here's your iPhone. <laughs> they didn't like... They're assuming that when you take it home and you, you dock that thing, it's going to pop up in iTunes and say, activate now, sign up for service. We're telling you not to do that. Or you don't have to necessarily do that. So there might be some technical legalities about that. I don't know. We're not responsible. Apple never really <laughs> officially stated that you, they, they don't... I'm pretty sure they're against it. But have they officially said that? Anyways, um, yeah, so also warranties, I'm sure those are out the window. Hey, God. Uh, you can always, you can pretty much always restore the firmware. So, well, it would break it entirely. Yeah, I don't see of any, any way of breaking it entirely just yet. Or heard of anyone <laughs> just yet, but... What? There's the guy who blew his up. Uh, email me if you, <laughs> if, you know, or post on the forums if you know somebody who did. Oh, yeah, the hardware hack. The guy touched the battery and it blew up. Uh, anyways, yeah, keep checking back, twosmartguys.com. We're going to have more shows. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, more details on uh, installing emulators, where to pr place the ROMs, uh, other little tips here and there, maybe. Things to do with it. Things now to do. Now that you have it unlocked. Yeah. So, stay tuned. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>